Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm here to help you build and master building applications in Laravel and PHP. Let's talk about the builder design pattern. The builder design pattern is a pattern to help you create complex objects while using the same kind of builder class. This class allows you to build many different instances while maintaining that single class. All right, so let's get right into it. So the builder design pattern is a pattern that allows you to kind of chain methods back to back to back to build whatever kind of object that you're looking for. So in our case, let's talk about how we can use the builder pattern to build an email. I think an email is a good demonstration on how we can utilize this type of design pattern. So I'm going to create an email class. This class is going to have a constructor. And in this constructor, we're going to say in order to have an email, you must have to designate who this email is going to be intended for. You, we can't have an email that isn't intended for anybody. So we're going to force the person to specify that when the email class is created. This part isn't as important, but it is important in the sense of we don't want to build an object that is invalid when it's constructed. So this is part of just making sure that this email class is valid from the beginning. So we're going to say private array two. And now you might be wondering, we're going to say private array two. And you might be wondering, why am I specifying it as array? This is just a design choice that I'm going to make in case somebody wants to specify that this email could be it for more than one person. We don't actually need anything in here because we've specified private in there. And let's say this person or anybody who's creating an email might also want to add a CC onto this email. So we're going to create a function to add the CC, but we also need a class property. So let's add a class property for this. And what we're going to say is we're going to say private array CC, and we're going to set a default to a blank array. And then we're going to go ahead and add a function so that somebody could add a CC because this is private. We need to add a function so that somebody could add a CC. So we're going to say CC. And then we're going to say this, you can only add one email at a time. This is again, just another design choice, whether you want to allow somebody to add one or multiple. I'm using this as an example, just to make it easy. So we're going to say, this is the email that they're going to send. And so what we can do is let's just push an email onto the CC array. So we're going to go like this, and this is just going to add the email to the end of the CC array. Now, the next really important step that makes this whole builder and pattern work, and this is why the builder pattern is the builder pattern, is because we are going to return this. Now, when we specify this, it's literally referring to this particular object. So it includes everything that was in two, it includes everything. So what this allows us to do, and we're going to specify a self return type here, meaning that it's going to return itself after we've done any kind of logic that we want to do. What that's going to allow somebody to do is it's going to allow somebody to chain methods back to back to back to create the email object that they want to use to send. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to do it for BCC as well. So let's add a BCC. And let's go ahead and add the function add BCC. Then we're going to say the same thing that you can only add one email at a time for this. And again, this is just to simplify things. So this BCC equals email. And then we're going to return this on this one as well. So now let's actually go ahead and use this object and build out a couple different types of emails. I think this will be a good demonstration how to demonstrate what it means to build this. And I've created a console command just to show this, this, this class, this email class is all plain old PHP. This has nothing to do with Laravel. The only reason I'm using Laravel here is to just have a command. We don't actually need a full kind of uh, website to display what's going on here. We can just show all this stuff from the command line and it all still makes sense. So 
I've got this email builder command and the signature is just email. So basically in order to call this, I'm just going to do PHP as an email. And this is where we're going to build the logic. So our email, our first email, and we need to specify where this is going to go. And even if this is a single element, we must specify an array. So this is going to be first at email.com. And then if we want to, we can stop there or we can add a CC. Let's add a CC. So first at cc.com. So then notice how we've got this email instance. And then we're able to add whatever we want. Let's say we've got a second email instance. And then this is going to be second at email.com. And for this one, I'm going to add a BCC. So we have two separate email objects. Each of them exist on their own with their own data, and we did not have to touch the email class. The builder pattern allows us to configure these complex objects and however they need to be while still maintaining that code base where we're not touching. This is really important because we don't have to adjust the email class if we want to add multiple BCCs. Let's say I want to add another BCC here. I can just add another. And the list can go on and on. And so when we start to talk about the builder pattern, this can be used in a number of different ways. I've used it for navigation. I've used it for building emails. I've used it for building text messages. This is just a great way to build all different types of objects. So again, to demonstrate that these are two completely separate objects, what I'm going to do is we're going to create a method to kind of force this email to print itself out to the command line just so we can see kind of what it looks like. So I'm going to create a two string method. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to return a string. And so this email is two, and then I'm going to grab the two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to implode. It's a string. So I'm going to implode the string on a comma. So the separator is going to be a comma. And then the actual thing that I'm imploding is going to be this too. And then let's add uh, the CC. So CC four, we're gonna implode again on a comma. And this is going to be CC. And then BCC. And let's add a BCC here. So now when we convert this email to a string, it's going to tell us exactly who this email is for, the BCC and the CC. And it looks like we forgot to add the extra blank square brackets there. The IDE was yelling at us for that. All right. So if we go back to the command, if we do, again, this is the reason why I'm using Laravel. If I just do this info email, and then this email too, it's going to print out what we have to the screen. And then we can see that these are two completely separate instances. If I do PHP artisan email, and we can see that the first one is for first at email, and we can see that the first one has a cc.com, but then the BCC, and we forgot to add a space, the BCC is blank. And then we can see for the second email that there's no CC. This is where it kind of ends for CC. And then the BCC that there's actually two items for the BCC. The next step that you could take this to would be for adding content 
It could be for adding attachments. Again, this is all stuff that would be for building an email. And then each email will have different content, may or may not have attachments, etc. So this is where the design pattern for building stuff like this is just really excels for creating these different types of objects. So that's really what it means to use the builder pattern. It's a pretty simple pattern. It's a very powerful pattern once you understand how it works. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, I'm going to try to continue to build and make more YouTube videos around design patterns. I think these are great when you're first starting out to kind of help identify what kind of things that you can use in the code base and where things kind of fall in. So that's it. That's the builder design pattern and the builder design pattern is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I encourage you to try it and encourage you to, to try different ways and how to use it. I think you'll find that it's very useful when you're building your applications. I appreciate your support and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Thank you very much.